Hello, my name is Chris. Welcome back. This is part three of the Unique Square DMX Lighting series, in which I'm explaining some of the basics of DMX lighting with the help of this marker board and these turkeys. In this video segment, I'll be talking about dip switches. Okay, let's begin. So, what is binary? It is the language computers use to communicate. It's a series of ones and zeros. Um, it's also the language used with dip switches. It may seem confusing and difficult at first, but stay with me to the end and it should all make sense. And if you stay with me to the end, I'll even show you a way to get around all of the math and a way to set the dip switches without having to understand binary in the least. In normal life, we have the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And with those numbers, we can create any number we could possibly think of. But in binary, there are only two numbers, 1 and 0. We can also use binary to write any possible number we can think of, but how does it look? Well, it's a string of numbers just like regular numbers, except with only ones and zeros. For example, this is a binary number. Let's try to decipher this number. Every binary digit has a corresponding number from the normal system. To calculate the value of this number, just add together the corresponding normal numbers wherever there is a 1. For this number, we have a 1 corresponding to 256, 64, 32, 8, 4, and 1. Add them together, and you've got 365. So the value of this binary number is 365. Here's another example. 128, 64, 16, and 2 correspond to the ones in this binary number. Let's add them together, and you've got 210. That is the value of that binary number. Here's yet another example. The corresponding numbers to the ones are 8, 4, and 1. You add those together and you get 13. That is the value of that binary number. So how does this apply to dip switches? Since dip switches consist of a group of switches that can either be turned off or on, you can compare the switches to the numbers in the binary system. The on switch is the same as 1, and the off switch is the same as 0. Now remember that each binary digit had a corresponding real number. So I set this binary number with my dip switches. I switch these four switches, which correspond to the numbers 128, 8, 2, and 1. Add those together, and I see that my DMX address will be 139. That's pretty simple, right? But what if we want to do the reverse? How do we translate the DMX address we want into binary? Well, it takes some math. You might want to grab a pen and some paper too. Let's say we're trying to dial in the DMX address 509 with our dip switches. Take a closer look at our list of normal numbers. From this list, Choose the largest number that is equal to or smaller than 509. From this list, we see that 256 is the number that we want. Now subtract 256 from our original number. We're left with 253. What is the next largest number that is equal to or smaller than 253? Yep, 128. Subtract 128 from 253, and you get 125. Again, choose the largest number, smaller than or equal to 125. That number is 64. Do the math, and we get 61. The largest number, smaller than or equal to 61, is 32. So we subtract that and get 29. Continue like that until you're left with zero. Now, you just have to turn on switches that correspond with the values that we picked. So, we'll be flipping on the switches 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. It's always a good idea to double check your math, so let's add up the numbers we chose. Alright, looks like we're in the clear. 
Now, if you're like me and you prefer to not do math, there is an easy way out. Shave has an online dip switch calculator. Check the description below for the link. All you have to do is enter the DMX address that you want and it will give you the appropriate dip switch configuration. Well, that's all for part three. I hope you stick around for the next video where I'll talk about how to wire your DMX lights. Also, be sure to check out uniquesquare.com for great prices on lights, DMX controllers, or any pro audio gear you may need. If you have any questions, you can leave them on our blog and we'll answer them as soon as we can. You're watching uniquesquared.com.